On your latest election news, a number of observer missions have said the Kenyan elections were largely peaceful and credible so far. This despite protests in the capital Nairobi and in Kisumu on Wednesday. Allegations of electoral system um, hacking by the opposition have emerged. But uh, former South African President uh, Thabo Mbeki, head of the African Union Observer Mission from 31 African countries, said the Kenyan people need to be commended for the massive turnout on election day. And former Ghanaian President John Mahama called for the leaders and the country to exercise restraints while awaiting the final results. They, meet, uh, they met with opposition leader Raila Odinga, who raised his concerns around the Electoral Commission system. His party claims the IEBC's database was hacked and they've rejected the results. Mbeki and Mahama said their mission is not to investigate these claims. They've raised the issue with the IEBC. We're mindful that the process of collating the results is still ongoing. I wish to reiterate my earlier call for leadership, and I therefore call upon all political party leaders and their supporters to show restraint and magnanimity as the results process continues to unfold. It is vital that all political leaders maintain peace and calm, exercise patience, and not stampede the process. Accordingly, we can say that the processes, as we were able to observe, up to and including the counting of the votes at the polling stations and their transmission to the IEBC and so on, met the standards set by Kenya and the AU for the conduct of democratic elections. The mission is gratified to see that isolated incidents and late opening of stations in some areas did not overshadow the peaceful conduct of the elections.